Bonjour everyone, today I'm taking you inside one of Paris's most iconic dining experiences, lunch at Madame Brasserie, located right on the Eiffel Tower. Today I'll share my full experience, some insider tip on booking and break down the menu options so you have a smooth and unforgettable visit. So let's get right into it. Before you even reach the restaurant, knowing how to navigate the Eiffel Tower for entrances and lift can make all the difference. So let's break it down so you know exactly where to go. There are four main entrances at the base of Eiffel Tower, each leading to a different elevator, north, east, south and west. Starting with the north entrance, if you're coming from Trocadero side, this is your closest access point. It's often busy, especially around peak hours, but it offers direct access to Madame Brasserie if you don't mind a wait. Now for the east entrance, this entrance is a little quieter and a great option if you're trying to avoid the crowds. It's closest to Seine River. So it's also ideal if you're coming from the boats or strolling along the river. The south entrance is another fantastic option, especially if you're arriving from Sham de Mars Park. It's usually less crowded and often quick access to the lift. So keep this one in mind if you want a smoother entry. Finally, West Entrance, often a favorite because it's tucked away a bit, making it one of the more relaxed options. If you're visiting during peak hours, this is a great choice for a quick lift ride to the restaurant. Now let's talk about booking. You can book directly from Madame Brasserie's website where you'll have more control over options like choosing your seating area. However, if you're booking through a travel agent or tour guide like we did, we used TUI, Keep in mind, you may not be able to select your seating area. This is worth considering if you want a specific view or ambience. Now let's dive into the menu. Madame Brasserie offers several dining options to fit different tastes and budgets. Number one, the gourmet menu is popular choice and offers a fantastic range of French classic from starters to desserts, paired with a variety of wine. Perfect if you want a complete Parisian dining experience. For those looking for a lighter meal, the Brasserie menu offers a selection of simple yet delicious dishes. Think seasonal ingredients and classic bistro style options that still pack a punch in flavor. So now I'll take you through our full experience from the entrance outside to dining, our dessert and going back down. So we are a bit early. We are now it's, 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 now it's 10 past 12. Our lunch is 1.30. So we need to go to, let me show you. We need to go there where that guy is kneeling down taking pictures. Um, we need to go there 45 minutes before our lunch. And we are avoiding all that queue. Like it's queuing from, this is the entrance. That's the, oh, where is it? That's the entrance. And this queue is like along the other corner there. So, hmm? sorry. Seven, eight hundred people, maybe a thousand people. About a thousand people queuing to go to the Eiffel Tower because you can go to the Eiffel Tower to the top just by lift and then come back. I don't know what the price is. 35 euros. Like Possibly 35 euros, but I'm going to put the price here if I find out. So if you like to have lunch, there are two restaurants here. There's Madame Brasserie and the La Juve, La Juve I'll just show you. It's on the second floor. So I can't wait to share with you our experience today. It's time for us to go inside and collect our tickets. I'll show you how, but I was really surprised by how many people were there waiting to go inside the Eiffel Tower to the top and you're paying 35 euros for that queue. I mean, there were thousands of people waiting and also the day before we had gone to visit and there were also thousands of people waiting. So here's a tip for you if you want to avoid those queues. Visit early in the morning. Arriving right when the tower opens, usually around 9 a.m., can help you beat the midday crowds. Alternatively, late in the evening before it gets too close to closing. It can also be quiet at that time and you will still get to enjoy the beautiful lights of the city and the Eiffel Tower at night. Also, booking your tickets online in advance also helps streamline the process, allowing you to go straight to your designated lift rather than waiting to purchase tickets on site. This way you can enjoy your visit to the Eiffel Tower without the long wait. As you can see here, we had less than 10 people waiting to go inside and some of them were going to the other restaurant, La Juvian, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's worth paying that extra bit 
to book lunch or dinner or even breakfast. I think they offer different timings. You can definitely have a look. I'll leave the link of the two restaurants down in the description box. We are in. That was really easy. It was just about four people in front of us and now we are going to this corner here so we go to get our tickets. So, once you pass security then there is this information centre here and they show you where to go. Oh my goodness! Lots of queuing, people queuing to go. Oh my goodness, are these people queuing to go where? No, that's just a science show, isn't it? My goodness, there's millions of people here. Like the queues are massive. So here we are. Oh, then we go over there. Then we go on to the lifts. Then we go up there. A few people waiting. Our tickets now we're going to yeah we'll show them. I collected our tickets now we're going to access. I think we're just going to there. Yeah. Okay. yeah go there. Where? Straight here. It's a long queue to go yeah, to so is, uh, to the uh, lift. Nice there, that, that's a lift. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we're going where? Through here. Here we go. Oh, no. video in. Oh, my goodness. Make sure you don't fall down. <laughs> we are here and my legs are shaking. <laughs> Where is it? Darling. I'm not going anywhere near there. Oh my goodness, oh I feel dizzy. Why are they are we being separated? I don't know. Okay. We had to wait a little bit here, not a little bit, a bit more than we expected, about 20-25 minutes. But they were kind, they brought us this special tea. Never had it before, but it was delicious. And once you're at the entrance here, you're separated, like you had me saying. Those with the tablets with red, you're going upstairs. And I think you seated like in the middle of the restaurant and the others had a black color on the back. So those ones, I think they were the ones who were seated at, you know, where you can get proper views. And now here we are just going to be seated. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Once you're seated, you scan the menu and the service then begins. They had about three options for each course. We had already booked ours for a three course meal and we paid our drinks extra. Two glasses and then later a bottle of wine. Ça c'est bottle. Ici c'est glass. Now, without being horrible, because I don't like being horrible, our drinks and service was amazing. My dessert was amazing, but we just feel a little bit let down with the food. We both ordered lentil soup, which was basic, I would say, basic, and it was almost cold. So that was a little let down. And also our dinners, my rice, I like risotto rice, but that wasn't risotto. Even, you know, the Müller rice dessert it could taste better than what they served us but like we said we were there for the experience and especially for the queues we jumped you cannot even pay for that it was a very nice experience but the food i think they could do much better or probably we were just there at the wrong day this is what i'm talking about i love lentils but i can make better lentils than that it was just basic and the fact that it was cold i mean that was unforgivable and then they served us bread in this lovely leather bag this is my risotto even you uh, like i say the muller milk rice it's better you know the one for breakfast tasted better than our food my dessert was amazing i didn't taste my husband's dessert but he said it was okay so yeah for that reason i wasn't really pleased with the food but for the full experience, especially jumping queues and the views from the top, it was worth every penny. I only want to believe that we were there at the wrong time because they can do better than that. We finished now, it's 3.30 and we're just gonna go take the lift because I'm not taking any stairs. Well, it's a bit scary. And then we go, we're taking metro, isn't it? Metropolitan. A bit of food and then metropolitan and then we go back to the hotel. After your meal, lunch, dinner at Madame Brasserie, you can take the stairs up to the second floor of the Eiffel Tower and enjoy the views as you ascend. Once you're on the second floor, you'll find the entrance to the to La Juice Van, the Michelin starred restaurant known for its elevated French cuisine and breathtaking views. At the floor where Madame Brasserie is, I didn't go upstairs because I wasn't taking any stairs up. I'm scared of heights. There are several shops where you can pick up unique souvenirs, making it a memorable way to complete your Eiffel Tower experience, even when you're not dining at any of those two restaurants. It's time for us to descend and do our little walk and then find our way back to the train station. That was also another experience going uh, with the trains in France, in Paris. And the biggest question remains, would I ever go back to Madame Brasserie? Um, I'm not very sure. If my son wanted to go and experience that restaurant, I would. Just for me to go back to Madame Brasserie, I would not go back because I've already had the experience of, you know, the views. But for the dining, I would not go back there for the food. What I'll do is go back to the La Juvienne so if you have been to that restaurant, let me know how you found your food and the experience. Thank you very much for watching, especially if you watch this video to the end. I really appreciate. Let me know if you would go to Madame Brasserie. I mean, our timing might have just been the wrong timing. If you enjoyed your food at Madame Brasserie, kindly comment down below. And if you've also enjoyed food at the other restaurant, the Michelin star restaurant, kindly let me know. Or if you did not enjoy foods, at both restaurants also let me know because for me the experience of just going to Eiffel Tower with my husband celebrating my British passport it was just special and nothing can dampen those moods so thank you very much if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly do so because we've got lots of videos coming up we also dined at the Seine River that is also another video coming up shortly thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video bye for now